my dad taught me when I was 16. This is the first fan I ever made. And it's actually my mother's fan. It's very treasured in my family. Uh, these are the feathers my father has gotten from his brother. And um, when he received these feathers, he made a fan out of it. So this fan came apart. And so when it came apart, he asked me, he goes, hey, I'd like to show you something. And I go, what? He goes, I'd like to show you how to make a fan. And so he showed me how to peyote stitch. And that was one of the first things he ever showed me how to do. And that's what I'd done with this. It, it's amazing. It's, it's actually amazing to see that the sucker is actually held together with just stitches and no glue. Normally back then it was just a lot of patterns and designs and traditional colors and stuff like that. So I figured I might as well spice it up a little bit. Use a little bit of blue, reds and yellows and try to like make it pop off a little. This is the kind of work that I do now. Very vibrant, very contemporary, but still yet have that traditional flair to it. And a lot of these feathers that I've acquired are from other medicine men and other fan makers. And they have actually presented me with these and said, hey, you've done such a good job, I want you to have this. And to me, it's a real honor. It means a whole lot when someone gives you these kind of feathers. And this is actually used for like a spiritual use, like a real meaningful spiritual use, showing the love, protection, and the devotion to the family and to honor a family member. And that's the reason why I do it. My belief as being Native American, being the artist that I am, is that I need to create something that I believe suits the fan, suits the need, and it's where my mind would be at, and that's where my inspiration comes from, is like uh, landscape and what I see in nature. I believe that um, a lot of these designs, which we call traditional, that was the artist's interpretation of what they believe it looked like at that point in time. I try to recreate what I see in my own idea of what I think that design should be. That's me as a traditional artist. I try to do that in my own form. And a lot of that's my inspiration. The American church, nature, and my family, my wife and my kids. All of that has been a life inspiration to me. And all of it's been my teaching tools in life. And I love and respect it. This is me. This is my fan work. This is who I am.